What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. It's me, Ricky Jones Jr., in which I am doing this review of the car of the Tesla Model 3. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm also excited to show you all the vehicle as well as show you all the modifications and things that I did a little bit differently than your standard Tesla Model 3. Because y'all know the Joneses have to do a little bit razzle dazzle, a little bit of things that are special and unique to who we are. So you're going to see my fingerprint throughout this car. And so I'll start with the front, right? With the frunk. Shall I? I think I shall. And so with the push of this button, boop, that's how you open the front, okay? And so for those that are thinking like, why is it calling it a frunk? Because there is no engine, right? Because it is electric. And so what you see is the frunk, the front trunk, okay? Frunk, get it? But nonetheless, here is the frunk, which I did add this here liner to the front of the vehicle. It does come with this here light, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I like it. I haven't used it so far, but it's here. It's not convenient, but it's here. And the other part about the frunk is that it's where you can change your windshield wiper fluid and things like that, which I haven't had to do that. And I will say that's the only maintenance required to this here vehicle, right? As far as like oil changes and other things like that, not a thing. You just have to change the windshield wiper fluid, of course, to make sure the brakes are where they need to be and the tires are at a good tread. But outside of that, you're good to go. Let's show you the inside, which I enjoy. We will start uh, here with the door, which I added the matte carbon fiber look to a lot of the vehicle, which again, is my fingerprint. Here is the button that you push to open the door. And then you have the windows, right? The front windows and the back windows, the Alcatara finishing, right? Very, very nice. And then you also have a cup holder space as well as put something that you may want type space. Here's what it looked like, boom shakalaka, as you walk into the vehicle itself. And I'm gonna step in and show you all, boom, here we are with the steering wheel with the nice T for Tesla. And then you have the rolling capabilities for your uh, sounds, as you can see up and down. And then this, I don't even know what this does just now. I honestly don't know. <laughs> but here is the continuation of the matte carbon fiber dashboard look that goes all the way across. Also going to the other door, added that piece, as well as the piece to open that door. And then you have the nice open dashboard. And I did add tint, which fun, fun video. I don't even know. If, well, yeah, I did show y'all when I went in tenant the vehicle but nonetheless here is the tent uh windows galore from the front all the way to the back so it's plenty of sunlight which is good and bad here in florida but then as well you have the armrests and then you have the cup holders you have a space and a drawer where you have storage and then i also have bottom storage here as well which are like napkins and wet wipes and things like that that all parents should have in the vehicle as well as if you take your kids to school you always want to have some Tic Tacs because you know what it is. And then some go uh, for them. And then boom, charger. But then also as well, this is a car charging area that you can also use for your uh, vehicle. And so boom, there's that. Which here is the main component. This vehicle is operated here, right? Here's the brains of the vehicle. And so touching the vehicle button, it gives you the controls and the dynamics and all the different things like that. So you can fold the mirrors, you can put the child lock on, window lock if that's your thing. Uh, windshield wipers is on auto, lights are on auto as well. And then for autopilot, which it can drive itself, which is why I love this vehicle. You have the traffic aware cruise control. You have the auto steer, which will stay in your lane. And then you have the full self drive supervised mode where it will drive itself. You just put in the destination that you want to go to. So boom, navigation. Let me just slide it over. I don't want to do that. I want to do boom. So you can navigate. I'm just covering like, you know, 
recent or whatever, but you just navigate where you want to go to. And then from there, it'll drive to that destination. They also have other games and things that you can play that you can do while you maybe you're waiting for your car to charge or you're just waiting to, you know, your wife or your significant other is out shopping. You can play a game. There's various games that you can play, Sudoku, all different kind of games. I don't know. We play this game. I play Sudoku. They're solitaire for the people that love solitaire, like my mom. <laughs> and there's all other kind of games. Chess. Oh, that's pretty cool. I have to play it with Rain. And there's this game. Oh, this is a fun game. I, this is not my score. I haven't even played it. So I have to get up here and put my top scores on there. We've been playing a lot of the card game. We being the kids because I mean, I drive, so I don't need to play the game. And then there's the other fun. There's a toy box app that you can do like the whoopee cushion fart sound, which, you know, that's been fun with the kids. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna do that fart on demand for the kids. And then, uh, yeah, there's that. And then there's the boom box feature, which it'll play music outside, right? If your car is parked, there's the light box situation, which you can schedule a light show, which you do lights outside of the car. Haven't done that, but I've seen others do it. And yeah, like other fun things that you can do. You can do the romance mode, get cozy, where it does that. And there's heat that comes from, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. But we're in Florida, so we don't need that heat. There's music too. But nonetheless, there's a sketch pad you can draw. Uh, there's Mars that you can drive on. It'll transform the map to look like you're driving on Mars. There's a Santa Claus mode, you can do that. And then there's Rainbow Road, which I did Rainbow Mode when I do autopilot. Uh, it'll uh, do that and then boom shakalaka, the car drive itself. But it'll look like rather than driving on like a regular road, it's driving on a rainbow. And so I'll do a short showing you all those things, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Rain likes it because she loves rainbows. And that was another reason why I picked that. But then you also have the ability to do music, uh, podcasts, and Audible, which I've been doing all of those things. And for those that don't know, like for those who are walking by Teslas and things like that, we can also record what's going on around us, what's going on from the back of us, the front of us, and the sides of us. So always be mindful and careful as you are conducting your life and handling your business around a Tesla, because uh, it can be seen. But then there's also different theater modes that you can do. You can go to Netflix, you can do Hulu, you can do Disney, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and other Tesla tutorials. And uh, let me think, one other thing I do wanna show y'all is the air. And so, boom, this is what it looks like. And then I could touch this side to do air on the passenger. Haven't figured out how to turn it off. Obviously, I know how to turn it on. And then rear, you can also do the heated seat features, which all seats have the heated rear. And there's the front. I can do heated seats as well for the front. Boom, boom. And then we can also split our temperatures as well if we wanted to do that. And so, yeah, that's what it looks like from that perspective. Let me show you all what the back seat looks like. And it's fun even doing this because I've yet to sit in the back seat. If we are in this vehicle, it's because I'm driving it. And uh, man, I realize I sit with the seat kind of back. But there is knee space and whatnot. There's a seat here, seat there, seat belt. So it seats safely three people. But adult wise, I'm gonna say two adults and maybe a slim one in the middle. And yeah, you're good. There's no like hump like in the middle, you know. So there's that footrest, and then there's air vents, as well as two USB C charging ports back here. There's an armrest. Ugh. Had to give it a little force. Huh, interesting. Armrests and some cookies. Kids. Kids, y'all. Kids. Let me take this out because I don't like stuff in my car. I like my car to be clean. How my car looks right now is how the car looks all the time. But nonetheless, yeah, they have a nice view of outside. The outside is available to them. And uh, those are in the back seat. And the seats are very comfortable. Like, very comfortable. I must say, Tesla did that right. 
the seats are very comfortable. But uh, here's another matte carbon feature, the back area, the cover for the AC, like I said, with the USB ports and the vents has that as well as the armrest that you can see just there. So, you know, a few of my features and things that I like to do are presented as well. So let me take this out as well as show you all what the, oh, let me show you all this too. I did add the matte carbon to the handles and I will now show you all the trunk space. Boom, 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 boom. It's just like here. So there's that same rubber, which does not come with the vehicle. I bought it separately, but nonetheless, um, there's that. This is the case for the charging that I can do here at the house and whatnot or apartment. But nonetheless, here's the underneath area as well for storage. That's another package that I bought, something I wanted to add that I think I'm gonna send back because I couldn't figure it out. But there's a nice deep space for the trunk that's additional to this nice open area as well as a little side pocket and whatnot here. And so, yeah, very nice spacious. And so if there's anything else and there's a button that you push that closes the trunk, However, like I was saying, if there's anything else that you had any curiosities about the vehicle, let me know in the comment section below. I'm also like going on this side because I hear like a rattle sound and I don't know what it is. I got to figure it out. But what I do believe is rain has something and I just can't find it. So girls, yeah. It's a Tesla, y'all. I enjoy it. Like, it's a very, very fun vehicle to have to drive. As you can see, it's black on black. I also have, like I said, tint the front. I tinted all the windows. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fun vehicle. It's a fun vehicle to have. It has a lot of get up and go. And uh, I can charge here or I can charge at the superchargers. A lot of times I'm asked, like, how long does it take to charge? It's like 30 minutes is pretty much what it says, but it usually doesn't take that long. And it usually costs about like 13 to $17 to fill it up because I don't go all the way down to zero. I think that's bad whether or not you have gas or electric. And so usually about like 80 miles left, I go and charge it. And it, like I said, it takes about like $13 as most as 17. I think I went to 40 that day. That was like the first day. But nonetheless, in it all, you find out where the superchargers are. You find out where you can charge, thankfully. I've been blessed to be able to acquire a garage, so I'm able to have this covered and inside and all those things. But all that to say, I enjoy it. And there's like, a, there's so many fun features that you can do with this vehicle. I'm even just thinking through one of them is that you can change the sound of the vehicle once it locks. I left my phone, I'm using my phone. So if I walk off, let me see if we can hear the sound. Y'all heard that? You know, for those that know me, I like to joke and have fun and things like that. So I put it on a fart sound. It's a fart sound when I walk away. That's what it was. Play it back if you missed it. And uh, yeah, man, it's a fun vehicle. It gets up and go as fast as you want it to go. Whenever you hit the gas, it responds immediately. And uh, overall, just a great fun vehicle to have, to drive, to enjoy. The self-driving is amazing. I use it quite often while on the interstate. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my vehicle, y'all, I'm excited. The fun thing about this is prior to, I'm gonna say like two years ago, I bought a Tesla hat because I wanted a Tesla and didn't have one, well, couldn't afford one because we were paying for Ricky to be in school. Now that he's in like regular school, we don't have to pay for that anymore. So money back in our pocket, which affords the vehicles that we have now. But nonetheless, coming two years away from those days, I now have one, enjoy it, the kids enjoy it. Crystal, you know, she sits passenger seat. She just enjoys a vehicle that she could sit passenger seat in. But nonetheless, I'm enjoying it, getting to live out the life that I desire. And it's cool because another vehicle that I want that I can see just right here is a Dodge Ram. However, I've been seeing a lot of these cyber trucks out here. And the more I see them, the less I want that. But if I had a gas vehicle, it would be the Dodge Ram. And it's black on black. 
We'll see. We'll see. But anyhow, anyway, great people, I appreciate you all. I love you all. Thank you for rocking with your boy and staying tuned with the vehicle thus far. Any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get to them. If not, show you them. And I will show you videos doing the autopilot and what that all looks like as long as the car will let me. Because you're really not supposed to be on the phone while on autopilot. So if it detects it, it may stop. So we'll figure it out. I'll show you all. Stay tuned. Stay locked in. Until next time, great people. Love you all. I appreciate you all. Let's go.